hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing something different i'm going to be reading off a story um actually a text message horror story from an app while i'm doing my makeup i wanted to make this video a little bit more interesting so i really hope you guys like it um if you do comment below or like the video also i've been reading a lot of stories on the app episode and those are um with animated characters so maybe i could do that next let me know anyway let's get started so this story is called help wanted check this out what is it it's a house dummy no shit why did you send it to me it's where my job interview is you want a job interview yeah didn't you notice i was gone Thought you went to the bathroom. You're a crap boyfriend. Bring beer after you're done. Get your own beer. Seriously, be careful. Place looks creepy. Oh, you do care. Of course I care. Your turn to do the dishes. Jerk. Hey. What? What does sagotes mean? How should I know? You watch a lot of movies. Thought it might mean something. Like a meme. Don't meme nothing to me. Where's the eye roll emoji when you need it? Why are you asking anyway? It's painted on the front steps like graffiti. Maybe you should just come home. Seriously, this whole job interview sounds kind of sketch to me. I'm already here. Might as well see what it's about. Okay, but call if you need me. Unless it's about weird words. Ten minutes later. Hey, you free? For a bit, guy just wanted to get me a glass of lemonade. What guy? The one doing the interview. He's a bit odd, but seems harmless. I did a Google translate on the word. Oh yeah? It's Luthenian. Means beware. Lovely. I wouldn't drink that lemonade. OMG, you're such a jerk. I think I'll have Sagotis tattooed on my butt. That butt is mine. Leave it alone. He's coming back. I gotta go. 20 minutes later. You there? Yeah, how's the interview? Things are getting creepy. He come on to you? No, but he's asking weird questions that don't have to do with the job. Like what? He asked me when I had last had my period. Ew. Yeah, I know. Then he wanted to know how often you and I have sex. Not nearly enough. Perv. He there now? He went to check on a noise upstairs. I'm alone in the living room. House as spooky on the inside? Lots of antiques. Taxidermy like Norman Bates. Who's that? The guy from Bates Hotel. Can't believe you don't know that. No, you mean the guy from Psycho? Same thing. There's a lot of books too. Old ones. Place may look creepy, but I love that old book smell. Bet some of those books are in Luthanian. Not sure. Some are foreign, though. Not many in English. Take a look. Okay, there's one I can read. It's Spanish. Libro de San Cipriano. The Book of Saint Cipriano? Saint Cyprian, actually. Looks newer than the other books. Probably something you picked up at a market in Tijuana. More books. One called Dragon Rouge Petit Albert. The Book of Honorius. Honorius? This sounds like occult stuff, Bev. I'm starting to get weird. Worried. He's coming back. Gotta go. Everything okay? Bev. Baby? What? Just checking on you. Interviewing. Got it. Text me when you're done. Worried. Ten minutes later. Okay, I can talk. He went back upstairs. The noises are getting louder. What kind of noises? Dumping, mostly. Sounds like maybe someone crying. A kid? A baby? No, an old person. They're keep still asking weird questions? No, he's talking more about the job. The pay is amazing. How much? 
5,000 a week just to house it. That house? Yeah. Not enough. Don't be a baby. The guy is weird, but it's perfectly safe. Easy too. All I have to do is come in from two to four every afternoon just to make sure everything's a, everything is okay. What about the geezer crying baby upstairs? You have to make sure he's okay too? The guy hasn't mentioned that yet. Yeah, he'll drop that crap on you last. Why don't you just leave while he's upstairs? This is good money, bae. We need it. Not that bad. Oh, wow. What? I just heard a crash. I just heard a huge crash. What was it? Not sure. Now the guy's shouting. What's he saying? Something foreign, maybe Eastern European? <laughs> European. Lithuanian, I bet. Beth, just get out of there. OMG, there's a screeching sound, like a dying animal. Get out of there. He's screaming now, Adam. I can't just leave him. Don't you dare go up those stairs, Bev. I'll be okay. I'm just going to the foot of the stairs. I'll call up to him. Don't. Just leave and call the police. Let them handle it. He's not answering back. I'm going to check on him. I'll take the fire poker with me. Bev, stop being so stubborn. Damn it. I'm at the top of the stairs. I don't hear anything. Would you just get out of there already? He's still not answering, but I hear noises behind the door at the end of the hall. Just leave, please. Bev? You there? Damn it, answer already. I opened the door, no one there. But all the furniture is overturned. There's blood, lots of blood. Leave, Bev. OMG, the old man is lying on the other side of the bed. His chest has been cut open. Call the cops and leave. He's still alive. He keeps saying that word over and over. Sagotis, Sagotis, Sagotis. There's something outside the window. Run. Oh God, oh God. You out yet? Yeah, I'm outside, running to the car. Tires are slashed. Something's coming at him. Run, Bev. Get out of there. It's huge. It's flying after me. Find some trees, woods. Hide there. I'm scared, Adam. What the hell is happening? Babe, you okay? Babe, yeah. Are you safe? Not sure. It's so dark. I can barely see. Use the light on your phone. That thing might see me. Oh, crap. What? I hear the old man. He's walking around out here, saying that word. Over and over. Sagotis, Sagotis, Sagotis. You need to call 911. It might hear me. That old man might be dying, and the guy who attacked him is chasing you. You have no choice. Call them. It wasn't a guy who attacked him. It was a thing. Whatever. Just call 911, okay? Hello? Okay. Sorry, I hit the button too fast. Oh, no. You call them? Yeah. But that thing was coming closer. I had to hang up or it would have found me. That screeching is driving me crazy. Listen. Oh my god, I hit the button too late again. Well, I hope you guys heard it. Wow, that's... That's... I don't know what that is. Adam, it's attacking the old man again. I hear him screaming. Should I help? 
Absolutely not. You get out of there, baby. Run. Where? Is there another house nearby? I don't see any. Do you remember seeing any on the drive over? Yes, but I can't remember where they are. It's so dark. Do you see any lights, like a road, passing cars? Wait, yes, I do. It's a street light. Run towards it. That will take you to the road. Okay. Send me your location. I'll come pick you up. Five minutes later. Okay. Babe, did you make it to the road yet? Adam, I found the old man's cane. It's covered in blood. Take it. You can use it as a weapon. I don't want to kill anyone. Just for defense, baby. Until I can get there. There's a ditch here by the road. Good. Hide there. I can hear it screeching again, Adam. It's horrible. Like someone being torn apart. I'm on my way. Just stay put. You, should, you shouldn't be texting and driving. Maybe not. I'm calling 911. Sending them your location. Hurry. That thing is getting closer. Did you call them? Adam? They didn't believe me. Guess because you hung up, they think it's a prank. No, this isn't happening. Hold on. I'll be there soon. I can hear it. It's walking through the brush. Coming towards me. Get the cane ready. Wait. It was just a stupid deer. Maybe that's what it was all along. Deer don't screech like that. What the F? Something just attacked a deer, ripping it into shreds right in the middle of the road. Run. Find some place to hide. Where? Run down the road. Find a house. I don't see any. It's screeching again. I think it saw me. Damn. Damn. I'm stuck at a railroad crossing. Keep running, babe. Keep running. You there? You there? Yeah, I was running. I'm hiding behind an old shed now. I see a house up the way. Is it following you? No. Believe it or not, I think I heard the old man again. He's still alive? Yes. He was shouting something from the woods. It followed him. Get to the house. Okay. Oh, no. What? Someone coming towards me. Hit him with a cane. It might be someone who can help. Oh, no. It's the old man. His face is all cut up. He looks in really bad shape. Still alive? Barely. He just collapsed. Hold on. I have to help him. Be careful. You still don't know if he's involved in all this. Babe. What's going on? He's dead. What happened? That thing tore him up bad. Clawed him. Bit him. One of his arms is almost torn off. It's hanging by a few strands of muscle. What the hell? What could do something like that? It's called... He called it a... Kraljovedlis... Sounds like more Luthanian. What should I do with him? Can't just leave him here. You have to. It's not right. I know you want to be a good Catholic girl, but now it's the time for last rites. But right now it isn't the time for last rites. Get in the house and wait for me. I'm going to go check the shed for a tarp. Damn it, Veb. I don't hear anything. I don't hear that thing. I can't leave his body just lying there. Coyotes might eat him. Get in the house. I'll only be a minute. If I don't find us tarp, I'll go. If there, if there were a horror movie, 
you would be the idiot everyone wants to see die. That's not nice. Found one. Stuck on something. Ew. What's wrong? Rats. There's a nest of rats under the tarp. Just get in the house already. They, there are babies. Ew. Little pink ones? Yes. I'm going to puke. Okay. Got the tarp loose. Okay. Cover the old man. Get in the house. Where are you anyway? I don't know. I think my GPS is jacked. I'm back to the railroad tracks. I don't remember going over any railroad tracks on the right here. Crap. I must be lost. Send me... Let me send my location again. Damn, I'm losing charge. Adam, please, I can't do this alone. I need you. Don't worry, I'll find you. Just get in the house. I can hear it again. That sound, it's horrible, like nails. Adam? Baby, don't leave me like this. I got in the house like you asked. Looks abandoned. No power. Lots of dust and cobwebs. Crap, just stepped on a creepy old baby doll. The kind that says, Mama. I think I hear more rats, too. Adam, please answer. I hear the screeching sound again. Oh, please, not that. Adam, are you there? I'm hiding in the closet. I still have the old man's cane. 20 minutes later. Bev? You're there. Charging my phone with a cigarette lighter. I was so worried. Still lost. Keep coming back to the stupid railroad tracks. Where are you? Did you get to that house? Yeah, I'm hiding in the closet. I can hear that thing outside. Screeching. Just stay in the house. You'll be safe. I'm going to I'm going to try to call the police again. Maybe if I call the sheriff's office directly instead of 911. The screeching stopped. Adam, I'm going to check the rest of the house. Pretty sure there are rats in the closet with me. There's a painting on the wall on the stairs. On the stairwell. Some old farmer and a little girl. Looks like it's from maybe the early 1900s. The stairs seem safe. I'm going to go up. Got through the sheriff. I told him your general area and sent a picture of the house. He knows where it is. They're sending a deputy. Just sit tight, babe. Wait, did you say you're going up the stairs? Yes. Why? Just stay put. Help is on the way. That word is painted all up and down the stairs on the wall. Sagotis. It's like it's leading me somewhere. It's leading you to trouble. Just go back to the closet. There's a room up here. The door's open. That means someone opened it, hun. Just go back to the closet. The window's open, too. Wind's blowing in, flipping pages in a book on a desk. It's an old journal. I think it's by the farmer who used to own the house. Just hide somewhere till the cops come. Please? Hey, the farmer wrote about the old manor house. He says it's owned by some rich guy named McClue. Fine. Take the journal and give it to the deputy for evidence. Just find some place to hide. That thing might come back. McClue supposedly had parties at his house, invited rich people all over the state. They had seances and rituals. The farmer is sure they killed some of his cattle. 
oh my God, it's his daughter. That's what all those books were you, that's what all those books were you saw earlier, where you saw earlier. They're Satanists. Who knows what kind of crazy stuff they were up to. The farmer says he would hear things coming from the manor some nights. He called it an unholy screeching. Oh, wow. He confronted old man McClue about it. McClue told him he was trying to summon his holy guardian angel. What? Something to do with binds the dukes of hell to his will. Binding the dukes of hell to his will. Not sure. The writing seems the writing seems smeared with blood. This is crazy stuff. How long ago did this far- farmer write the journal? It's dated October eight, 1918. Almost exactly 100 years ago. Creepy. Hold on. Sharon's calling me back. There's a drawing. A sketch of some kind. Some kind of demon in a black robe. That farmer was actually a dis- decent artist. Says holy guardian angel underneath. Only it looks like he wrote un in front of the un, the holy and scratched out guardian. Deputy says he's lost too. Sorry, babe. Not sure what's going on tonight. Maybe something inter- interfering with the GPS. Could be the fog. What fog? There's no fog. You kidding? There's fog everywhere. Thick as pig slop. I don't see it. It's clear where I am. I'm not. I'm even reading by moonlight. That's weird. The screeching started again, Adam. Hide, baby. Ow. You okay? I tripped on the stairs. I think I sprained something. You still have the cane? I dropped it, but I think I can reach it. Use it to get yourself someplace you can hide. There's a pantry at the top. There's a pantry at the top of the stairs. That's closer to me than the closet I was hiding in before. Perfect. Okay, I made it. Crapped in, cramped in here, but I have to close the door. Wait, but I have the cl- door closed. You take the journal with you? Yes. See, see if there are any more clues. Hard to see, not much light. Think it's safe to use the light from your phone? Probably. Go ahead. Hey, the fog's cleared, and I think I might have finally gotten away from those stupid railroad tracks. The journal ends shortly after the sketch of the demon. He just writes Sagoti, Sagoti, Sagoti over and over again. No. What is it? There's a dead body in here with me. What? Old, almost mummified. Oh my God, I bet it's the farmer. I need to get out of here. Wait, I can hear someone outside the door. Footsteps coming up the stairs. Just stay put. Be quiet. My light. Turn it off. This can't be happening. It can't. Just sit tight. It's outside the pantry door, Adam. It's outside the door. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Um, because technically there's no space for me to add more. I'm already almost done with my makeup, so I hope you guys liked it. And if you do, maybe I can keep going with the story. If not, you guys can read it on the text stories app. I'll go ahead and put the title on the bottom and here's my makeup. So I know this is just completely different from what I usually do, but hopefully you guys like it. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like my video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.